Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we have with us our second guest, and his name is Somto Ajuluchuku. He's the director of C3 Africa Networking Symposium, and he's coming to talk to us about it. You know, they say content is the new oil. Maybe I should ask Somto how true that is, seeing how they have an upcoming event in that regard. Good to have you, Somto. Yeah, thank you for having me. I they say content is the new oil. Is it really true? Yeah, content is queen. That's the theme of our event. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell us, why, why so? Because um, uh, a lot of uh, females are doing excellent work in TV and film, and they're bossing the industry. So we um, put a lot of panels together that were focused on females and, um, you know, what we're doing in the industry. You know, companies like Ebony Life, which I would say is one of the largest media conglomerates in West Africa, is run by a woman. You know, um, and, you know, uh, movies that are coming out, a lot of females are directing amazing movies. So, you know, that was the theme and that was the inspiration behind that theme. And also because cash is king. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So what's, what are, what's the event like? Uh, people who are mm -hmm. looking to go into the media entertainment space. Is it specifically for women, first of all? Um, no, no, it's, it's not for women. It's a, it's a, it's a networking event for um, um, professionals in TV and film. Okay. So um, it's a build up to a larger market, content market, which we're doing in partnership with AFRIF in November. Um, but the networking session is to get your feet wet, get a f proper understanding, and to launch our platform, which is the c3africanetwork.com. Um, so it's, um, it's very similar to the likes of Discop and MIPCOM, the content markets in Cannes and South Africa. You know, um, but we realized that it was important for producers, local producers here, uh, to be able to um, find a livelihood from the content they create easily at the snap of their fingers and at the proximate region. They don't have to think about getting a visa to travel to some country to attend a film market. There's a film market right here in Lagos in your home. What's the film market in Lagos, Nigeria? Not just in Lagos, mm -hmm. in Nigeria right now. Let's realistically look mm -hmm. at the film market. You talked yeah. about how you know it's important for them to be able to profit. Are, are yeah. they really profiting as much? Um, they are profiting, to be honest. The, 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 the industry is growing, and it's a, it's a moving train. You're either You've not had as much Nigerian films in cinema very recently. It triples daily. Daily. You know, I think about it. When you, you think about um, um, Film House um, back in 2016, and then you look at Film House now in 2018, now you realize that at least a quarter of their catalog is Nigerian films, and that's progress. You know, but um, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, we're not going to start making, um, uh, you know, profits in hundreds of million dollars. You know, we're not going to start having a huge budget for action films, you know. But it's, it starts from understanding the kind of content that we can consume now, which is comedy, and which, um, you know, which we can relate to and which is easily achievable, and then scaling that up. And um, what, we, what we focused on with the market was looking at indie producers that are producing films. You know, there, there are a lot of indie producers that have done amazing work. For example, Abba Makama, for example, that had Green White Green. And his film has done festivals all over the world. And he shot that thing from pocket. You know, so when you see producers like that do exceptional work, you have to understand that there's a broader market for what they do. You know, and the idea is to connect African content, Nigerian content, West African content to the world. So, you know, um, this networking session is to grow that community, is to firm up that community. We have a lot of amazing panel sessions and keynotes, but also to build up to November where we're bringing in a lot of foreign bodies like the Fox, like the Netflix, like the rest of them. So it creates a more robust environment for trade. Why did you decide to focus on this area? What piqued your interest in the film industry? Because um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm passionate about film, first of all. Do you have all. a film background? I, I don't have a film background. I have an economic. I study economist. I'm, economic, I'm, a, I'm an economist. Yeah, you I don't economics. even know how to say that. Because yeah, you're I, right. You studied <laughs> economics and you're an economist. Yeah. And, um, uh, but it teaches you how to, if not anything, it teaches you how um, human beings consume and how they, um, they react to products and how they react to the environment. And, um, you, know, um, you know, demand and supply. And I'll tell you now, there's a huge demand for African content. There's a huge demand for African stories, especially in our mythology, our history, and our lifestyle. It cracks everybody up. I mean, um, Tadi Adeyemi just wrote Children of Blood and Bone, and it was basically focused on, focused on West African mythology. Exactly. And there's like a huge demand yeah, for it. Yeah, you know, there's, um, uh, what's her name, Nnedi Okara for, that's now writing Black Panther comics for Marvel. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're writing a story on Sush uh, Shuri, um, you know, Black Panther's sister. It's huge, you know, and they, they, it's like if you're, if you're black, if you're African, if you're making stuff and you're popping, everybody's on you. So it shows that it's our time. 
you know, and our content is, you know, is so, is so addictive. Nollywood is the third most largest film market in the world. It's worth billions of dollars, billions. You know, it's for them to, in fact, the people that have made a lot of, the Alaba people have made so much money from Nollywood, they should be the biggest distribution company in the world. You know, so um, um, we're looking at all those figures and finding out how all those figures are not circulating enough. And find out that is the talent sufficient? Yes. Are the opportunities sufficient? No. Do we need a content market? Yes. And that's what Friday is about. Interesting. So for those who are looking to plug into the content market, mm -hmm. those who are probably not the filmmakers, but yeah. the actors, maybe you should give us an insight into the category of people that can come. Because mm -hmm. there are many people who want to come into the film and media TV space. Yeah. But who are the kinds of people that can come? Oldies or mm -hmm. newbies or all? We're looking for, I mean, we're looking for, we're looking for people that have, uh, you know, taking a step out to create. You know, um, if you have gr brilliant ideas, if you have um, a, a brilliant script or finished movie treatment, you're welcome to C3. You know, um, it's a building place to network. We're having professionals from all these companies that you've seen succeed, at least in their own regard, in the media space in Nigeria, and you can connect with them. And if you have, if you have a strong pitch, you know, business starts, and that's the idea. Create a platform where people can engage and business can happen. Speaking of pitching, a lot of people are usually worried about pitching because they're thinking, I could pitch my idea to you. You'd say you don't like it, exactly. and tomorrow I'll see my idea on the big screen. Exactly. Screens. So is there yeah. some sort of protection? Do they have to sign like a non-disclosure agreement? C3, C3 has nothing to do with that. <laughs> C3, we are indemnified when it comes to who you tell your intellectual property to. Your IP is your IP. If, your IP, if you have discussions around your IP and then it goes south, you know, it's up to you and who you discuss that with. That's why we urge people that have content. And that's why this initial event that we're having um, on 20th is by registration and guest listing. So we've gone out of our way to do a lot of market research. We've looked for every nook and cranny and invited every single producer that is making amazing work, small, big, medium. We want you. We've, we've probably contacted you already. Um, no, you haven't contacted me. <laughs> <laughs> and if we haven't, please send us your stuff. We want to see it. We want to get you in that spot where you can connect and take it further. Um, it's free. Okay. You know, um, for now. All right. Um, um, but, you know, the, the, the essence is we want C3 Africa to become a home for African content professionals. You know, you're professional in that space. You want to make a livelihood from this. You already make a livelihood from this. You want to scale up. You know, um, and you want a local market where you can even um, deal with local companies. Because a lot of times we look um, international, but um, there is so much that we can do locally. We're in a nation of, you know, over 100 million people. That is so much opportunity. So many opportunities yeah, lie here so in our country. We have, yeah. you know, close to, actually close to 200 million. Yeah. Now let's look mm -hmm. at the event. Where is it happening? What mm -hmm. time is it happening? Um, it's, uh, it's happening at the Oriental Hotel okay. on July 20th, which is tomorrow, Friday. Um, it starts by 9 o'clock, and then it goes all the way to 5, and then there's a soiree, a, a cocktail session that goes from, eight, from 6 to 8. Um, it's, uh, it's, we're going to have speakers. Um, we're having keynote session from um, um, Sam of um, Trace. Um, we're having a panel session from Stephanie Finlay of AFP. AFP, by the way, is the third largest... Um, news aggregator in the world. Uh, we're having um, um, the MD, uh, the, uh, the GM of um, iFlix, Kwese iFlix, they corrected me today, okay. of Kwese iFlix um, um, come through as well. <coughs> so it's going to be a packed session. We're having um, Lara and the Beat, the new movie. Yeah, the, the, I saw that. The premiere was a few days ago. Yeah, the, the, the film is dropping tomorrow. They're doing their press conference at my event tomorrow as well. You know, Castle and Castle coming through. So it's going to be, it's going to be a, uh, you know, it's going to be the holy grail of everything you want when it comes to, uh, you know, connecting with the industry. I'm actually looking forward to this. I, I think it's really exciting. Please come, Dear producer, please, come. please, can I take the day off tomorrow to attend the event? <laughs> yes. So how can people contact you for those who haven't been contacted yet? How, what's uh, the website or the social um, media handles? Just um, um, our website is going to launch on that day because our website is paid. Okay. So if you're on our website, it means you're registered. You're registering for the market, and okay. registering for the market is gonna um, is gonna cost. So we're launching our website on that day. So for those who want to be at the event, tomorrow, so if you want to be at the event, please email us at team at c 3 africanetworkcom or um, if it's too much of a hassle for you, show up. 
you know, at this point where, you know, we're, we're through with our guest list and we're excited to meet new people. We have an entire session that's for new people. Um, a, a lot of brands are doing their <clears throat> presentations and, and I'll give you the inside info. Their presentations involves a lot of opportunities for young producers. Interesting. Uh, yeah, our DM is launching Play Studio. Um, you heard it first on this show, you know. Oh, wow, you heard it first on Hello Nigeria. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, there's, you know, there's Ebony Life on, and who knows um, if they're taking some Fresh House content, you know. So there's a lot of VOD services that are coming out. You know, um, you know, Wazovia has some amazing stuff to turn out on that day as well. So, um, it, you know, it's, it's all going to be amazing vibes. So. If Wazobia is definitely a part of this, I'm certain without a shadow of doubt that it's something uh, that is... Wazo, you guys is, are amazing partners. You guys you. have done so amazing in Thank the you. industry and even connecting with both the local and both the um, um, mm -hmm. so, so, um, urban, urban yes. uh, community. And creating that fusion is it's, it's wild. You Thank know, you, you have 7 a.m. shows that say good morning. Yeah. And then you have Hello Nigeria by 11. So that's <laughs> a class We are of trying to worlds. reach a, la a large crowd of people. Yeah. But we're very excited about your show, your event tomorrow. Wish you all the best. Thank you. I will try to be there. If my producer gives me the day off, and if you at home decide that I don't have to be on TV tomorrow, then I can attend their event. Awesome. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And for me. those of you who will be attending tomorrow, understand that it's an opportunity for you to network. Quick tips, please go with your complimentary card. Always have a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Don't sell yourself short. And there's something called a non-disclosure agreement for when you want to pitch your idea so they don't steal. There are many thieves around, you know, just, just, you know, go out there and yeah. a lot of the chances we miss in life are chances we never take. So go out there and take chances and you never can tell. Just by me, it might be your next big break that you've been waiting for. Wish you all the best with your event. Yeah, thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.